Hello everyone, this is going to be a change log video of everything I did differently in my third version of my VCube 6 modification tutorial than everything I did differently in the first two tutorials. So if you never saw those videos, then this video probably won't mean a whole lot to you. So yeah, this is just to clear some stuff up. Number one, I found it's unnecessary to sand down these pieces right here to reduce popping. It's only necessary to sand down the corner stocks. This is what Master NZ suggested, but I found it's only necessary to smooth down the corners because I found it made no difference at all in the popping rate of the V-Cube 6. Number two, I added the dirt modification, where you can put dirt or sand or toothpaste in it. And while this didn't really help on my Gigaminks, it did help to make my Gigaminks smoother. So, this also made my VQ6 smoother. So this probably won't affect your times at all, but it, yeah, it, it'll just make it smoother. So here's a before and after comparison of an unmodified VQ6 as compared to this one. So here's how the outer layer of um, works, so. Still feels a bit clicky. See, and notice how much smoother it is now. Ha ha ha. <laughs> number three, I combined modifications three and four into just modification number three. And in case you don't remember what that was, in the third modification, you simply modify just these inner pieces, and I thought that would reduce the outer clicky feel on this, but still keep the inner clicky stuff in there, and you would still won't have trouble with the inner mechanisms getting out of alignment. But there is an additional problem that occurs with that. I have gotten messages about it ever since I uploaded my second revised tutorial, and I finally decided to try it out for myself. Here's a before and after comparison of an unmodified cube as to one where just the large edges are sanded down. And here is how the cube behaves afterwards. The click seems to be much more intensified, like it really does seem like to be stiffer, and yeah, it's really uncomfortable. And what makes it worse is now that these outer layers turn smoother, that makes it seem like these inner layers, or the click to these inner layers, has intensified. Yeah, it's terrible. So that obviously failed, but just to see if I could counter the problem, I decided to sand down these bumps only halfway like this. So here are the results. Okay, so the click has been reduced significantly. It's no longer a pain to turn. But unfortunately, this can easily get out of alignment. There we go. So yeah, it's it still locks up pretty easily. It's much easier to get back in alignment than it is when the bumps are sanded down completely and you don't have any pins. So even if you glued the two pieces to the core to get rid of two-thirds of the inner lockups, the remaining thirds would be far too annoying to deal with. So if you want to get rid of just a little bit of the clicks, you're going to have to get rid of them all and then glue in the pins. That is why I combined those two modifications into just one. Number four, I found it's unnecessary to sand down the base of the corners on the V-Cube 6. While this does help on the V-Cube 5, it doesn't on the V-Cube 6. Here's a comparison video where I sanded down just the white side of the corners, but left the yellow corners unmodified. So here's how the outer layer um, works. So Still feels a bit clicky. And over here on the white side, it still feels clicky the exact same way. I can tell no difference at all. Now here's what I think why. In the V-Cube 7, which we all know is very nice and smooth, all of these pieces here are very round. So I can take this edge piece and it goes over very smoothly. But on the V-Cube 6, it's more, uh, yeah, you can see right there. It's it's kind of jagged. It's not a perfect circle. So it's kind of rough going all around. So that's where the dirt comes in. 
As I said, it helps to reduce the friction at those bumpy spots. All right, I believe I've covered all the changes in my modification here, so hope you enjoyed it. Bye.